Boom, hello, and welcome to the... Am I talking? Can you hear me? I speak words? Very soft voice. Hold on. What is going on? Boom. Uh, camera settings. Have we done... Of course we have Microsoft. Okay, let's try like so. Maximum noise. There we go. Excellent. Are you winning, son? <laughs> Raven, thank you, dude. But whoa, let's get the shite out of me. Whoa, all right. It's been a while. I had to relearn how to do most of this shit. All right. Oh, God damn it. I reset my character so that things would work, and then it didn't reset, and now it has reset, and now I have to redo everything. This man seems adequate enough. Is it different kind of hair? Uh, here. Uh, I begin blending. Here. Oh. Is everything blonde? Is all my gingers? All right, fine. So, fuck it. We're going with uh, we're going with the mohawk. Let's go. Uh, confirmation. Yeah, sweet. Clearly, no. <laughs> Clearly, it isn't. Uh, all right. So we want to go to New Babage, set as primary residence. This is the location where you can do the wanky things. Sweet. So the IAE is back. Um, I actually streamed some of this last year, but it's back again. Uh, so there's two new ships. Well, they're not so new anymore because everybody's seen them, but there's the Drake Cutter, which is a new starter ship, which will come with uh, some of the starter packages. And it looks to be very, very cool. Um, and then there's a ship that I've already checked out a few times, um, but we'll, we'll take it out a little bit and play with it some more today, which is the Drake Corsair. Uh, which, it, I don't know. Depending on who you ask, it seems to be a bit divisive. Um, me? I love it. Um, I think it's great, and it might be my new kind of daily runner. I'm alive. All right. So, um... check it out oh hey my new my new wait not the hell oh god i'm back in bed all right let's get out of the room because that seems to be happening to me a lot lately if you don't get out of the room quickly it sucks you back into bed it's like the fucking twilight zone all right there's this kid he's learning how to play the game you will be fine old man all right um Cool, so I got this new armor, which I'm very excited about, but this is not what I need in my life right now. I need... Bro, you're in my way. I need to get naked. And we need to get dressed up for the event. It's my jacket. It's my pants. Uh, where's my booties? It's my shoes. Fuck my shoes go. Bro, those are very expensive shoes. Where'd those go? There they are. Alright. Oh, no, no. Fuck, I forgot something. Um. Oh, hey, cool. I did get that helmet. Sweet. This guy doesn't know how to work the elevator. Don't worry, bro. I'll help you out in a second. Oh, you do know how to work the elevator. You are fancy. But you're not dressed to the nines like me! I am... F Hold on. I am swag-tastical. Alright. Anybody getting in? 
This guy's new. He doesn't know how to work the elevator. You'll be alright, homie. You stick with me. Alright? I'll be your best friend. Okay? Stay with me. I will be your tour guide. I will take you around and I will show you all the things. You following me, buddy? Come, little man! This way, friend. Alright. Is, is he coming? Come on, dude. This way. Down the stairs. Alright. Where you at? Okay. That's not him. He's coming. You can do it. Alright. Sai so Shuren. What's up, man? Let's crack like it. Fuck the elephant. Uh, uh, uh. Bro's fucked. I'm sorry, friend. You're fucked. He missed it. Oh, that was a bad move. Never sit down. Oh, these new people. I'm doing all right. It's day one of the IAE 2952. I think we'll see it if we come out. I oh, know we must have missed it. I think you see it if you come out the other way. The big, uh, the big IAE thing in the sky. Before work, Raven. No, you're not going to work. You're staying here. Oh, this man also has great hair. Ta da! Fucker. Alright. These guys are fine. Pay no attention to the NPCs. Welcome to the IAE 2952. What is IAE? It's. Better go. It stands for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It's the big event where they show off all the ships. This man also has glorious locks. Okay, so this is the lobby. This is the swag room. This is where I got... This... This is how I got all swag-tastic today. Uh, what the fuck's going on? Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. No, keep pressing the wrong button again. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Butt spot on point as usual. Thank you, my friend. Um, all right, let's go to the hip pixel. Hello, you got a very fat face. Do noteth talk to but spotteth like that. What does that say? Today, bad uh, official sponsor. All right. Ta-da! The Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. E. Um. Which is... Hold on. It's hella loud. Is it loud for you guys? It's loud. Hold on. Still pretty loud. All right. Anyway, that's just that's just how you guys are gonna have to deal with this. All right. So, wait, wait. I, I mean to look at the thing. All right. So, we have got the caterpillar. We have got three corsairs. We have got the buccaneer, the herald, three cutters, a vulture. Excuse you. Ooh. Oh, no, that's just the display thing. Uh, and then we got Dragonfly's Mule and a Hollow of the Kraken. Which, by the way, one version of the Kraken, I shit you not, sells for 2,000 American dollars.
American dollars. Alright, uh, we'll start over here. So this is the Corsair. I have one of these. <clears throat> um, I like it, but I find that it seems to be a bit divisive in the community with some people saying they don't like it, some people saying they do like it. I'm going to turn off the text. Um, I do find, though, that a lot of the people that say they don't like it are people who prefer the combat side of the game as opposed to any other aspect of the game. Trading, mining, uh, you know, cargo hauling, that kind of shit. Human monies, Raven. Human monies. Um, so, yeah. So I, t I take the people who who say things like that, you know, they're like, oh, but the turrets don't reach, you know, you can't see all the way around with the turrets, and, you know, it's so slow, and it doesn't, yeah, because it's a big-ass ship. It's it's a big-ass ship. Of course, it's going to be slow. It's not a fighter. It's a big-ass, look, at, it's a, it's big. Hold on. This is me. Fuck. Don't know how to zoom out. Is it this one? No. Yeah. Anyway, it's big, all right? It's, it's a big-ass biggest big ship big um so of course it's not meant to be uh, master well down so of course it's not meant to be like a fighter like for, for shit's sake um so yeah i take the, those uh comments with a huge grain of salt but anyway so we can go around the back this is the inus uh the buttocks of the Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going the other way. No, I don't want to rent. I want to. I don't want to rent it. Fuck sakes. All right, let me. Is this one? I don't think this one's cargo ramp is down. There we go. That will work. So this is the cargo ramp. This ship has a lot of cool features that a lot of other ships don't have, which is particularly the reason I like it the most. It has floodlights at the back. So when you're loading and offloading at, at night, you can turn on your floodlights. Big C. Mini good. Um, it has separate interior lighting, so you don't need to turn on the ship to activate the lighting. Let's close that up. And it has a big, big ass, big booty, thick boy, uh, chunky area to put stuff in. <clears throat> well, I mean, it it does a lot of forward-facing damage. Uh, if you can point it at another ship, it will do a shitload of damage to that other player's ship. But if that player <laughs> is in a much faster Zuby Boy ship, um, it's you're gonna struggle. And it's slow, so you know it, it balances it out by being both high damage, but also really difficult to lug around. Uh, so this is the component area. So we've got fuel tanks, we've got a lot of the components. Uh, turn on the lights, and if I open this door over here, we've got an airlock. So turn on the lights. So we've got lockers for spacesuits. So you put your spacesuit there. I think our weapon lockers over here. I think it's more space suits, yes. Yeah. And then over here, you go like this, you're like, uh, airlock. And then you make sure that one's closed, and then you go over here and you're like Ta-da. And you go. See? Pretty cool, right? Airlock. I thought that was how you close it. Anyway, so if I open this. Yoink! Airlock. Yeah, exactly. So uh, th that's the thing. That's what everybody who can't, every negative comment, like I'm, I'm open to negative comments. Like, um, I have, I have things I don't like about this ship, definitely. Um, but you know, when you, when you're like, oh, but it's not as good as a fighter, L like. Come on, bro. And it's a problem that CIG um, definitely, unintentionally, but definitely have created with this game, is that 
they have built a game that most people see as a space combat simulation and then they put in ships that aren't designed for that particular purpose you know they're more designed to be jack of all trades or, or have a different focus and then everybody's like oh but it's really not that good at combat so you know so i i i, I don't listen to those idiots like they like come on if that's the only reason you guys are playing this game you suck all right see so can i turn on these lights no that just turns off those lights uh, I want those on. Anyway, so this is... I'm not going to go into all the crew quarters because they're all identical. But this is... One of the crew quarters. So we've got... All your shite. We've got your bedding. He keeps his toothbrush in here with his fucking Colgate. Um, and his tools. He's got his own storage. Um, and that underneath here... There's actually another storage locker. So that's a personal inventory for anybody using this room, which is actually really cool. That's a it's a neat feature. Uh we go open this. This is the pooper slash shower. So you can poop and shower at the same time. Entirely up to you. You can poop or you can shower or you can do both. Or you can do brush your teeth, poop and shower. Is there a mirror in here? Oh no, no mirror. That sucks. Yeah, but you, you can you can get away with a lot going on in here. It's anyway over that. Is that matches? Soap? So I guess soap. Anyway, so that's where you do your business. So these are these are identical to that one, so I'm not gonna go through and show you that. This one is the elevator. So it goes to the ground. This is what I was trying to open earlier, so we won't do that. So it goes surface, mess hall, and then you yoink this one. It also takes you up onto the roof. Why it takes you up onto the roof, I don't know. Um, but it does. And I guess that's cool. You should really close that door before you open that door, homie. I'm just saying. Alright, let's go over here. So, let's turn on the lights in this section. We'll get to that area now. Uh, these are the two man turrets. Uh, so there's one on either side, covering... Uh, and again, I was talking about this earlier, how people say, oh, you can't like get to certain parts of the ship. Yeah, of course you can't focus on all parts of the ship in a turret. But anyway, so this is one of the turrets. Let's... Uh, fire it on. Uh, oh, can I not... Okay, but any, okay, so for some reason I can't, I can't maneuver it while I'm in it, but I'm in that one over there. We'll have a look, because I'm going to take mine out and um, give it a bit of a fly around. But these are identical, so again, I'm not going to cover them both. But they do cover quite a wide arc around the ship. So they're both pretty useful. They don't have a lot of firepower on them. Okay, so in here, this is the bridge. Turn on the lights. Uh, over here, hop in. Hop in, I say. This is the, what I'm assuming is the captain's quarters, but I would prefer it more to be the, the pilot's quarters. Close that. Now I can lock it. No one's coming in! Now that's locked, can I open it? No. So I have to unlock it, and then I can open it. Alright. Um, but identical. So, locker, locker, um, shit above the bed. No toothpaste in this one. This guy has put his shit away, and he is a respectable crewmate. So he's a good boy. Right. And then over here is a another storage locker. I don't think whatever is meant to go in here has been fully implemented. I think, so there seems to be like little placeholder boxes. But yeah, you can you can stash things in there. And then so yeah. Uh we'll start with this one first, I guess. This is the co-pilot seat. I would like to seat in it. Hello. There we go. I seated it, and then watch us. Ta-da! There I go. I'm in the co-pilot seat. So uh, let us power on. 
Uh, so you won't be able to do a lot in here at the moment, uh, but I can enter the remote turret. So this is the third turret that's on the ship. So this one's on the back. Uh, I can't look at these other two, but it's on the between the wings on the back. Um, and it also is pretty cool. So this has the same weapons as the other two turrets. What's cool about this turret is that the co-pilot, the one who's manning this turret, can actually use the missiles as well um, if the pilot is, you know, too busy doing other things. And then we've got the pilot seat. So I'll poop in here. Oh, I said I'll poop in there. God, I don't know why it's being so finicky. There we go. We've got the pilot seat. And that is the Drake Corsair. Uh, and it is honestly, right now, my favorite ship in the game. Just the, the way everything's laid out. Just all the amenities. Um, all the different goodies and gizmos and gadgets in it. Um, it is my favorite ship. Is it the fastest ship? No. Is it the most maneuverable ship? No. Does it haul the most cargo or have the most carrying capacity? No. Uh, there you can see the turret there as well. Um, but it is a really good ship for if somebody who wants to do a little bit of everything. Um, it can do a little bit of everything. And that's probably why it's going to be my day-to-day -day ship from now on. No, let's go this way. So, we'll take the elevator down. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, I did, I did kind of skip through here. This is just the mess hall area. So, while your buddy is taking a shit shower and shave, um, you're going to be sitting here eating grog um, and hoping that that door is 100% airtight. Right, so let's open that. Um... I think I sounded like a little bit like a, I don't value people who appreciate combat in this game, and that's not true. Like, if you want to do, if you want to do combat, that's you know that's that's cool. If you want to be a bounty hunter, if you want to do all sorts of shit like that, great, cool, 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 cool. Do that, do that. That's that's fuck great. Um. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I just photobombed the shit out of those people. My bad. Um, that's that's fucking cool. All right, you you do that. You fucking do that. But like to to absolutely just bomb the ship just to say, oh, it is. You know, it's not that great. It's not that maneuverable. Oh, look at it, dude. It's fucking massive. It's clearly not meant to be maneuverable. One of my other ship favorites, the Drake Caterpillar. So this one is purely focused on cargo hauling give me uh this one is i have big love for this ship but i also have big problems with this ship so i love the way this ship looks i think it's the perfect like cargo hauler it's um, so here's the I've shown off the ship before so I won't I won't and it's old so I won't go th into too much detail but here's where some of the crew sleep uh, and uh, do their business um, and then over here we've got identical um, five I think it's five identical cargo pods to haul ship it doesn't haul the most amount of cargo it um, You know but it, i love the ship it, it, it's it's so great I, it's, it's just got so much character and that's when i'm like looking at all these ships i'm like that's exactly what i that's what tickles my pickle is which one has the most character like which one when i'm playing like will i not which has the best stats and which one can i min max to death um it's like which one do i feel like I'm gonna have the most fun in. This is the the this is the uh, the butthole turret. Oh, I'm getting it. And it's gonna flip me upside down. Like as though, yoink. And it's gonna put me in the butthole. Um. Switch firing modes, decrease sensitivity. Where's the on button? Two. Here we go. I actually got some big guns on these turrets as well. Which one did I throw you out of? Hey, buddy. 
Which one did I throw you out of space from? Um, I think that was the Retaliator. I think. Um, yeah, so this is just a... Uh, this is meant to be able to operate a tractor beam so you can load and unload cargo into the ship. Um, so it's, this is what this area is going to be for. And this part of the ship, this is actually the bridge. Um, but this whole section is actually its own separate ship as well. So if I go like that. So I'm in this little pod over here. Um, and that's its own separate ship. It can break away from the main ship. Um, but that particular function, unfortunately, had it since... Uh... Oh, Raven. Enjoy work, dude. See ya. Um, anyway, so that particular function hasn't been added yet. Um, but yeah, this ship just absolutely does it for me from a cargo hauling perspective. And that's something in this game that I am more excited about. More than dogfighting, there's another shower over here. So this is like the captain and co-pilots or captain and second in commands. This door doesn't work yet. Um, area. This is, you know, they don't sleep with the plebs. They have their own air conditioner. Or heater. Or whatever. Uh, and this is a... I think this actually activates another... Uh, tractor beam. Anyway. My problem with the ship now. What was it? That was I was saying. Is it's one of... It's an older ship. And the interior really needs some some work i don't think this actually works you can't get up on top the interior really needs some work this ship uh like i don't think the cargo areas need a lot of work i think they're kind of fine but the rest of the ship really needs an overhaul um it's yeah it's just um it's a lot of wasted space a lot of shit doesn't make sense Oh, that was that one. I'm just going to go around and open all these so people can see inside. Hello! Here we go. Uh, and this is where you get into the top turret. But yeah, a lot of shit just doesn't make sense in this, um, in the main part of the ship. I think the cargo areas are kind of fine. They haven't, these are meant to be elevators that go up and down and they haven't added that in yet. But yeah, it's, if you look at the, the Corsair, which we just came out of, and all the like the new features that they've been working on with the newer ships and then you come into this one and it's kind of like eh. um yeah it's just kind of it's a little bit sad and this takes you yeah so this is some of the other components i think there's a server room over here so the ship's also meant to be able to run a little bit of uh data it's the power plant back here i'm actually not sure what all any of this shit is uh, component housing which they haven't actually put anything in yet so it needs it definitely needs some love but yeah if you look at some of the new ships that added within the last 18 months and the kind of features that they have included in them just small little things like just being able to control some of the lighting like uh, why is the light flashing here is, is my ship about is this thing about to explode doesn't bro um Right, looks like I'm just hoofing it. Um, put that back in there. All right, so, um, yeah, so that's the it's probably like my two favorite trips in the game, honestly. <laughs> um, what do we got here? So we got some pew pews. I think these are always going to be here, but it's a good place to actually buy guns if you actually want to get guns for your ships. That is a big pew pew. What is this? Size 5 pew pew -er. Laser cannon. So I think this is a size above what's currently on the Corsair. The four guns on the front. I'm a little bit meh about cannons. Um... I'm usually a big fan of repeaters.
I'm kind of curious, like, how much ammo I could hold on a Corsair if I went and got Gatlings and uh, Gatling cannons instead of lasers. Do they have Gatlings around here? Must be. That's nice component stuff. Hey, homie, what's up? Uh, is this a size 5 or a size 4? That's full. So these are the ones I usually prefer. So these are the rhinos. And these are the same ones that are on the... I think it's rhinos. I don't think it's... This is a gold green. Yeah, so... These are the same ones that are on the caterpillar's turrets. So it's got four of those in total but uh, I wonder I don't know can I, I might want to buy a couple of these to put on mine so you know replace these with uh, a couple of the rhinos do they have any of the it's weird that they only have Unless I'm missing it, do they only have laser weapons on display here? Weird. Um, you are a shield generator basilisk. Not the one I want. I have to see. They're gonna get they, they little components and they can become big components. Um, alright, I'm gonna have to have a quick squiz at the map. Um, I get shoes from. Anyway. So I just want to go check out the um, the Wingle Snapple over here. Um, that one's all fucked. That one's fucked too, but I think I want to go to that area. Uh, but first, I just want to grab some food just in case I'm hungry. Uh, you got you got dust burritos. Uh, I will quickly buy one. You uh, and uh, back up. Uh, bro, where's my burrito? Uh, eat that. Quick nom noms. Quick drink, just in case I'm, uh, feeling a little bit, uh... Sweet. Alright, let's, uh, grab me one of these. I don't know why all the textures are all effed up. One moment. Gotcha. Mmm, refreshing beverage of yum yum yumness. Just plow that through. Yep. Good oh, man. My fingers are all sweaty and weird. Wait, did I not finish it? Alright. That's right. Alright, so... Uh, so, there's another expo hall just... Ah, uh, there we go, the Apex one. Head over there. It's weird that they don't have... They've only got the... I wonder if they swap these out uh, and put different manufacturers in every day. What is this? Laser scatter gun, gross. I mean, what a shit. Right. I really wish I would. I would put some love into it. All right, let's go this way. Start at number four. Maybe we'll go to number five. So, down here, what have we got? Ah, so we've got the cutlasses. The cut, the cutlasses. Uh, so we've got the steel, the blue, the red, and the black. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to spend a lot of time here. I mean, everybody would have seen these by now. I haven't actually had a good look at the steel yet. Personally, I think it's a bit... Um... 
I don't think don't think that they really needed like out of all the ships that need dev time allocated to them I don't think the ship was the one that needed to be worked on I mean it's a drop ship but there's no purpose for it yet but they did it anyway so it was yeah it was a as far as I'm concerned it was a it was a big waste of dev resources and uh, people might say uh, uh, you know different teams and shit um i just strongly disagree i think this ship was just an absolute waste of uh dev resources not that it's unnecessary and not that it shouldn't be in the game just it did not need to be worked on at all right now um the blue you know even even like the blue also no didn't need to be worked on the red yes i will say the red is useful because it's a medical ship so any there are times when you get down and you need somebody to come and help you and then somebody showing up in a cutlass red can kind of save you from being down and losing all your swag hey homie what's stop, stop eye me um but these two the 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 blue and the steel you know it's just one of those things where crg is just making ships to to sell right you need to make that sweet sweet dollar reduce um selling pretend ships for actual cash money <clears throat> and and again it's uh i think they could have worked on other ships that would have more of a role all right so here's pretty interesting see what are we going to look at first let's look at the vulture so the vulture is that guy's having a the fucking time of his life over there. Uh, the Vulture is coming out soon. It's not fully released yet, but it will be um, come December. And so this comes with a whole new chunky bit of gameplay. Uh, so this is vehicle salvage. So moving forward, so right now if I blow up my ship, my ship goes poop, and it turns into into nothing. Um, but moving forward um the remains of your ship aren't just going to disappear they're going to litter the universe and then people can come with ships like the vulture and the reclaimer and they can salvage your ship um so they that's a whole nother gameplay loop that they added in a whole nother way for people to make money and that's something i'm actually really excited about you know moving away from just like oh here's some more space combat and let's do bounties and let's go shoot people no here's something else for people to do besides that crap um so that's very exciting um, i'm just drinking my coffee that's why we haven't gone inside yet i don't know if you can hear me making wet mouth noises but i'm really really sorry um uh big forgiveness Sorry, give me one second. Um, sorry, I'm looking at something else. Oh, oh, God damn it! What am I doing? It's like I don't stream that often or anything. You've heard worse in other streams. Asshole, I missed you, and thank you for popping in. Uh, okay, so here's the vulture. So. I don't know if I'm doing this backwards, but anyway, we'll, we'll start here. So when the ship salvages uh, stuff, it all comes in here, it gets processed by this thing, and then it poops out. I can't use this yet, but I will be able to. It poops out a little box of goodness. I don't know what... I think the server's just struggling. Oh, cool. So this one's also got sensors off, on, lock, open. Uh, anyway, and then it poops out a little storage box, and then um, you kind of have to come down here and maneuver it onto uh, the cargo area over here. And then once you've got enough, you can then go and sell that. How much you're going to be? Uh, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Um, I I don't know. I we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I will cover it. Um, how much you sell salvage for? I don't know. 
Um, so this is where the... So it's only a single cruise ship. So, they, of course, there's no door. Oh, there is a door. <sighs> Look, you can poop and shower in privacy, even though you're the only one on here. Um, oh, and then over here is the cockpit. Uh, so these are the things over here. These these things here are the ones that do all the salvaging. Um, bro, I'm trying to... Trying to get it. Anyway, I can't get over there, but there's another way out here. I think I can... Oh, close door. Enter... Okay, I'll close the door. Can I open door? Alright, I wonder if I get into the seat. Wait, what is that? I saw something. Enter pilot seat. There we go. I think it'll be six if to call it a vagina seat. Somebody's talking again. Hey, shut up! Um, yeah, so you salvage and you do things in here. So it's, it's very cool, and I'm definitely going to get a... I wonder why it, when you exit the pilot seat, though, you don't have an option to... It always seems to spit you outside your ship, and you don't get an opportunity to go, like, okay, I don't want to do that. I want to go in my ship. I'm just going to poop down. Um, but it's very cool. But here, this thing is causing much big uproar in the community. I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm just saying things but I'm definitely gonna we're definitely gonna rent one of these and then we're going to take a look this is the Drake cutter so this thing just came out um, sweet thank you um, and it's a starter ship so the if you don't know how these this game works when you I'm gonna go in this one if you want to play star citizen what happens is you buy a game package and that comes with a starter ship and the access to the game itself well some of the ships are just the ship itself um no 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 no, no. i just want to push the little button okay maybe i might have to go there we go um it's just weird with the rent feature on them um so this is a starter ship this is one of the entry level ships into the game uh let's uh Poop on the light. I got to turn them on. Let's close up the ramp. Gets a little bit of privacy. So this is just like, this is a, again, another jack of all trades. It doesn't do one thing well. It just does a lot of everything. And that's just to get somebody who's new to the game, um, you know, the ability to do some stuff. So it has limited cargo hauling because it's very, very tiny. Um, you can do some bounty stuff in it, but it doesn't have a lot of, uh, big pew-pews. That's emergency lighting. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, you can't do a whole, you can't do a lot of bounty stuff, but it will give you the ability. Can I turn the lights on? Did that work? I have no idea. Um, here's the, the, the potty. Which is actually very cool for a very basic, uh, I mean, uh, very cool for a very basic starter ship, um, to have a bed and, uh, toilet and all that kind of stuff. Does it have? It's got a bed and a place to do poopies. Uh, what's in here? Oh, storage. Very cool. Very cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very cool ship, especially for a starter ship. It's very awesome. Now, I think there's something else you can do with the ship as well. I'm trying to find out. Somebody is fucking talking in game and I hate them for it. Alright, can I start the sync up? Okay. So now if we go deploy. <laughs> Pretty sure if you exit. Fuck. I'm pretty sure you can close the shutters on the side of the ship. Uh these sh these windows here. Word. Um 
Naval proximity flight assistance. Just trying to see. I'm sure, there's a button somewhere that you can uh, close these, and it closes the shutters on the side, so you just look out the front, you know, so people can't look like window tinting, window tinted windows, you know. All right, let's get out of here. But it's very cool. So I'm going to check this one out as, as well. Um, now that I've rented it, it's uh, of it. Ah, there's the lights. That's better. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. And it's it's awesome. I think as a, for a starter ship, if I was starting out in the game now, definitely the one I'd go for. Definitely this one. <clears throat> uh, so this is the Herald. This is the fastest ship in the game. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, if it's going to be wanky, I'm not going to get in it. But um, you know, it's a it's meant to be a data runner. The the idea being that the vastness of space means that you can't um transmit data so uh well yeah it just takes too long to transmit data so the quickest way to do it is to put it in a ship that can quantum drive and zoink off um very quickly to drop it off so that's the idea this is not the only ship that has that kind of capability but this is kind of that's its entire function really and this thing um again is another one of those ships that all the all the hardcore um uh, combat players don't really like, you know, they like their gladiators and their arrows and their hurricanes and then pretty much everything else and their scorpiuses and then everything else is pretty much forgot. I like this thing because, again, it's another thing that if you can point it in the, the buccaneer, if you can point it in the direction of an enemy and pull the trigger, you're going to lay out a lot of damage very quickly on that ship. It's not the strongest fight. Uh, sorry, it's not the fastest. No, it is the fastest fighter. This is the fastest fighter in the game. Um, it's not. It can't take that much damage. It's very much glass cannon material. Um, but when it lays out damage, it it lays it out hard. And I, I think a good pilot in that ship could really cause a lot of problems, even though a lot of the a lot of the Alpha Chad um Let me help this guy out. Maybe he doesn't know how to get inside. There you go, bud. Yeah, even though a lot of the chads, um, combat chads, that's just, yeah, that's my new name for them. Uh, I am trademarking that combat chads. Um, don't like it. Tire wall playing Star Citizen. Star Streamer. Oh my god. I mean, you just know how to say the sweetest things. Jamie, I actually s streamed early enough for you to come and say hello as well. Uh, game, don't crash. So, we got the dragonflies. Uh, and, you know, meh. They're just little scooters with guns. Um, we don't want to go into the display hall yet. What have we got around here? The mule. This thing's a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping that its functionality comes in soon. So this is meant to be a, the... It's, it's your little forklift, right? The idea being it picks up cargo and it puts it in a place and then it goes and gets more cargo and picks it up and puts it out. Right, so it's your forklift. Um, I think this thing is really cool. I love it. going to be a late night for me. Got a deadline for this. What? Is a Peaky Blinders game? Like an actual Peaky Blinders game or uh, a game like Peaky Blinders? And over here, were, this is the most expensive ship that was on sale today. This is the the Kraken. So the Kraken came in two flavors: the generic flavor, which is just a, a big aircraft character uh, character uh, carrier, and then the uh, privateer variant, which sacrifices cargo space for um, having sort of internal markets where players can sell um shit 
you know so they can they can land here and they can sell their wares and then people can come and land and buy their wares and stuff i would not have bought that version because that was the two thousand dollar variant the 1650 dollar variant is just a straight up um uh aircraft carrier and i would have just gone for that this thing is so cool um i will never pay 1650 american dollars for this ship um but you know it's very cool fully licensed with actual actors from the uh, vr game doing animation for it can i oh, you probably should, wait are you allowed to be talking about this So is that everything that's down here? I think that's everything. I think that's everything from the Drake Day. That's announced. Okay. So... Um... So you get to, uh... What do you get to do? You just get to run around and, like, fix horse races and then shoot people in the face? Um... Yeah, I think that's everything, right? Uh, I don't think this hall is open today. No, there's everything from Drake Day. It's unfortunately, well, I mean, not unfortunately. Uh, Drake just is a, a smaller, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a couple of these well, since I'm here and since I'm on sale. I'm going to get a couple of these for the... Rhino repeater size four. I, I like the rhinos better, just because they they don't do as much single shot damage. But um, they can lay out a lot of damage. Should actually go on to Urkel and um, see what kind of power plants I can get. Here's the trailer for it. Oh, uh, hold on, dude. I'll 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 bring it up later. Let me. Oh, I mean I'll bring it up now. Let me just finish buying these guns. Sorry, I, I have to um, block people from sharing links because, because the bots come in and because I'm, I am a teeny weeny streamer, um, they're like, oh, would you like to be famous? You know, click this link um, and have girls touch your penis or something like that. I don't know. Um, so I, I have to block links. Uh, that's my bad. I'm a big sorry. Um, hold on. But now that I bought those, I'm actually, hold on, I need to buy two more <laughs> just in case. I saw people putting um, ballistic weapons on this thing. I don't mind spending. Uh... No, no, it, it won't tie me out. I just wanted to share it. I don't mind spending all my money because the game's there's going to be a a reset. Um, the size this this thing is this this one size six, size five. This one big size five. Do the big pew pews. This one big size six. Do the big pew pews. I actually put one of these on top of that buccaneer because it's got a size five hard point, but it's got a gimbaled size four weapon on it. I took the gimbal off and just put a size five gun on it. <laughs> um, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's check out Jamie's game. Uh, no, that's not the one. Let's go over here. Tiki Blinders VR game trailer. There we go. Need to uh, disable that. Enable Lagato. Like It was just kids last I saw you. And I've got Arthur in the air saying, give him a chance. Oh, wait, what the fuck's this noise? Good men in short supply. Alright. But I'm not Arthur. How do I know? Uh. Trailer, trailer. Gameplay trailer? Is this one? Hi, I'm Tim Jones, game director on Peaky Blinders The King's Ransom. This is the right one here. 
King's Please Ransom. Blinders, the King's Ransom is a narrative adventure set in the criminal underworld oh, of cool. Birmingham and London in 1920s England. Peaky Blinders fans will find themselves in an exciting and atmospheric recreation of the world of the TV show. This is a single player action adventure game set in the Peaky Blinders universe and you will step into and immerse yourself in a gritty gangster drama of your very own. We've recreated many of the environments from the show with loving attention to detail. You can freely explore them and interact with everything you find there. You can visit iconic locations like the Garrison Tavern, Charlie's Yard and the Shelby's Betting Shop. At the beginning of the game, you will find yourself being smuggled into Small Heath in the back of a van as a deserter from the First World War who's been on the run for 10 years. Jesus. The first character you meet is your Aunt Rowena, who works for the Shelby family and serves as your guide in the treacherous world of Small Heath. There's real attention to detail in the interactions you can have in the world. Find a broken radio and you can repair it. Then you can turn it on and tune it in. Do you want to listen to some music? Or a radio play? Or even the local news? Find a dartboard and you can play darts. Or you could even express your artistic ability on any chalkboards you might find. Be sure to look in crates, boxes, hidden corners, even under bin lids. You never know what you might find there. The world is full of collectibles. We've worked really hard to bring to life the scale and atmosphere of the industrial environments like Garrison Lane, and exploring them in virtual reality really is an amazing experience. The world feels lived in and alive, with characters going about their daily business and reacting to you if you get close. Meet and interact with iconic characters like Tommy Shelby, voiced by Killian Murphy himself. To old friends. Smoke a cigarette, share a drink, or get down to more serious business like fighting alongside Arthur Shelby in a high stakes shootout. Throw Molotov cocktails, duck for cover, or just leave it to Arthur to clean up. Bow try, my boy! We can't wait for you to experience Peaky Blinders The King's Ransom. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. So what's the release date? Have they announced that yet? That looks like fun. I do still have my VR headset, so I might definitely check that out. I haven't found a good VR game in a while that I actually want to play. Alright, hold on. Let's say... Uh... I go to vehicle loadout manager if we go to the Corsair and I'm not vehicle loadout manager can be really can shitty sometimes okay there we go that worked now if I go back motherfucker there we go go back to the Corsair Uh, vehicle weapons. Alright, is this the right thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because I don't think the cutter has size two. Uh, no, this that is the. Oh, damn it! Change. We have to come out of here and come back in. We might have to swap servers, which I wouldn't really want to do. Anyway, uh, I want to see about, you know, what power plants would be good for this ship. Obviously, I want military grade. Can I buy them here? Which would be quite cool. It's one of these. These are power plants, right? This was a, the Basilisk, no, this was a Shield Gen Industrial. Um, these also, no, these are military grade coolers, size 3. Um, I don't think a ship has size 3 coolers, I think it only has size 2. I wonder if these are actually like components that, no. Um, what's this big boy? Uh, quantum drive military size 3. I would love a military grade size 3 shield. 
Because this thing has a size 3 shield. Can equip a size 3 shield. So putting a military grade size 3 in here would be quite nice. Is this the same shit just... It looks like the same shit just duplicated over. Yeah, what's this? Uh, industrial quantum drive. Yeah. See, the, another problem with the game is you have to bounce all over the system to get... Because they don't sell every... So it's industrial size 3. Oh, I want military size 3. It's this industrial size 3. It's like the same thing, bro. I oh, got the same three things on display here. Grade B. Well, are they different? Grade A. Anyway. Um, you have to bounce all over the system to get uh, various components. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's head to Spaceport. Um, and let's head to the Spaceport and uh, go try out the cutter. Thank you for a bit of a zoink around. I know a lot of people have already done videos and stuff on the cutter. I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing it off and be like, I'm going to take it for a combat run and... Ugh. I just want to take it for a bit of a fly. See how it feels. You know? Pardon me? You know, it might be a great little starter ship to wink around the universe in. Um... Every time I get here, that fucking sign changes. Yoink. Uh, Expo Lobby. Uh. Oh. Oh, big legs. Hey, hey, everybody. How's it going? <sighs> anyway. Hello! You guys need to get swagged up, right? It's a big day. <laughs> Pull up a rug and shove your legs through the floor. Alright, um, god, okay, I think I need to go, uh, I think I need to go this way, back to the commons, and, oh wait, the spy ground, sorry, and then I can hop a train back to the, um, spaceport. Uh, choo choo. Boop, boop. Come on, Thomas. Let's go. Chugga, 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 chugga. Whoop, whoop. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. Uh, I didn't check what day it was tomorrow. Um, hope it's something good. Aegis or something. We'll check when we get back to when we get to the spaceport. I should have actually had a look at the wall more closely. I did stare at it and then I did absolutely do nothing. Baseball's total conversion mod. Uh, bro, you're 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 asking way too much. <laughs> Oof, big lag today. Big lag. So many people on the servers because there's a free fly event. So, if anybody actually wants to jump onto the game and just play it, and paying no cash monies, I think if I yoink up this way, uh, commons. What does this take me to the spaceport? 
Fuck, I'm so confused. Baseboard! Wait! Wait! Oh god damn it, I should have gotten out. What's this? Medical gun. Um yeah, so if you guys do want to play the game for free, it is free to play at the moment, so you can actually jump on. I'm going to be playing quite a, a bit of it at the... Because, you know, trying out all the free shit. Lots of new players to shoot. I'm actually not going to be shooting a lot of people. I'm not... Like, that's not what I want to play this game for. Um, I think that combat has a role in this game. Definitely bounty hunting, piracy. It definitely has a position with it. There's so many people that only want to do that oh and there's so many of them are all pissy because of the chain so crg the developers are making changes to the way your ships handle uh well not sorry the way they fly um and there's going to be changes um in a, you know flight mode which is just going to be your your cruising around speed um it's going to be slower um, but you'll have access to weapons and shields. Then there's going to be quantum travel. Uh, once you do that, your shields and weapons are disabled. Uh, my guess is the lore around that is that, you know, your ship obviously needs the energy or whatever to be able to quantum. Um, and so they disable that during that period. Uh, but your quantum doesn't spool up straight away. Oh, God, the lag is bad. The lag is real bad today. Uh, your quantum engine doesn't doesn't spool up straight away. Um, it has to wait a few seconds, so there is time that is vulnerable. So you can't just jump away if you're in combat anymore. You know, you you're really risking it for the biscuit kind of thing. Um, and at the same token, you know, if you're in combat mode, if somebody does eventually get to into their quantum mode, they can either jump away or they can actually just outrun you. Um, because they have access, their engines have access to their full power and they can just outrun you. So all the little combat nerds are all pissy about that. Uh, because they're, oh, well, you know, now I won't be able to catch people. Like, fucking yeah, dude, because they, they need to balance it. Um, because they don't just want people running around shooting everybody. It doesn't make it fun. I love your monocle. Um, it doesn't make it fun, and it detracts from the fact that this game actually has a lot of other stuff, not just shooting people. So, yeah, the combat chads are very upset about that. Uh, yoink. I do have these VKB sticks, uh, joysticks, so I've got two of them, uh, to make Fly Fly my shippy whippy. Um, and they only came a few weeks ago, and I had to order them from Australia. Call, had to get it from Australia. Hello? Um. Uh, because they don't actually sell them in New Zealand, so I had to get them from Australia. And even in Australia, they don't... That guy, or well, that company that I got them from, um, is just like a distributor. they not even like actual VKB salespeople. Alright, what do we got? Kata, kata. Give me that. Stand by. I am standing by. I am waiting patiently. Your vehicle has been delivered to the Hangar three. Let's go. Boop. Nice cape. All right. Hangar three. Anyway, so yeah, with the new update, that's going to be a thing. Which is going to mean that people can't zip around in really fast fighters and uh, cause you grief anymore. So I think it's a fair balancing act between, you know... Do you have to get a little bit closer for this? Oh, I'm going to need to change servers. This one's, uh... Or maybe if I just get away from here a little bit, it'll start getting a bit better. Uh, new Babbage has always been a bit, of a, a bit um... You still don't have that thing where I... Close. Uh, new Babbage has always been a little bit laggy. So... Yeah. Let me in. Got a little bit too close there. Alright. Let's power this baby up.
all righty then. Let's choke down the power a little bit. Oof. Okay. It's been a while since I've actually flown a smaller ship, so I'm kind of like not used to how effing vigorous they can be. And also... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Deactivate my VTOL engines. Alright. There's so many people. All those little blue dots are people trying out ships, and they're all new people, because there's never this many people here. Thank you. And please visit again. Oh god, let's, let's turn down the power. For some reason, when I go to third person, it, um... It just, for some reason, puts my power allocation for my... Just another little cutter. No, this is a... Is that an MSR? Yeah, Mercury Star Runner. Using his best in show skin from last year. Uh, it, is, it is upsetting about the lag. I do need to log out and try again. These new VKB sticks, though, make life a little bit easier, just when it comes to general maneuvering. Alright, let's give it all she's got, Captain, and see how fast we can get her in atmosphere. Don't think I've bound boost yet. Crap, I haven't bound boost. Need to do that. She's not the fastest, she's not the most maneuverable, but I think for, compared to all the other starter ships in this game, she's definitely the best value for money. Somebody's got their Pisces out. Hold on, I wanna quickly, no, wrong one. Just activate ye oldy space break. Is that on my monitor? Oh, no, it's a snowflake on my fucking screen. Alright. So I want to see if I can... Ah! I knew it! Deploy landing gear. Uh, oh, okay, so it does it for both. <laughs> you can't see me now. <laughs> I don't know why, but that is, uh, that is an amusing little feature. It's a killer stereo. I know. 7.1 surround sound Dolby stuff and things. And I think it looks cool. I think it looks really cool. I like the the VTOL engines. All right, we got somebody checking out a Corsair over here. Oh, coming in a little bit hot there. I'm used to flying bigger ships, so I get quite panicky when I'm coming in a little bit fast. It's the only thing I don't like about New Babbage is like the fucking icy glass on, you know. I need wipers. Yeah, but we definitely gonna need to change servers. This one's just too populated with people and shit at the moment. I like this ship, man. This thing's cool. Get some num-nums, Jamie. 
7.1 is all I can afford, all right? I spent all the rest of my money on guns. And my swag for the event. Do a barrel roll. Eh. She's all right. Not slow. A little bit of side to side motion here. Here. Can actually just put on the cruise control. There it is, the IAE. 29.52 Thingamadigal I always see people in these ships over here I don't know what they're doing Banu Defender and a Drake Corsair I'm gonna fly through it Barrel roll! Yoink! Whoa! 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 Sorry, my bad. Coming a little bit hot there. Oh! Am I being... Hang on, let's activate the VTOL engines. I feel like I'm being blown sideways. Restricted area. Suck my ass. It's cool, though. I like it. I, I, I'm definitely a big fan. I like the way it looks. I like the way it handles. Um, if you're just starting out or if you just need something to cruise around in, um, yeah, you can't actually go wrong on this thing. It's, it does a little bit of everything. And it looks just beautiful. Let's see if we can get a better screenshot here. All right, should we should we go back? And there's a little bit of fucking oomph when it fucking kicks off, though. Jesus Christ! Did I put the gear up. All right, maximum oomph. Let's go. Request. I need to get a little bit closer. Can't do the pew pews, but it's only got two little bulldogs on it, so you know. It's got a lot of um anti missile things on it. Holy shit! All right, should be able to request landing. Errol? Did you give it to me? Please proceed to assign Ah, there you did. Son of a bitch. Warning, leaving a restricted area. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh... 
it has which button did I there we go okay so it doesn't have the cells on it there we go Can't see is this the one I have to fly into? I mean, sorry. Really hard landing on this planet with all this. Yeek! Whew. What skill? <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, we're fine. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Anger. I'm still getting used to these VKBs. It's 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 a different kind of thing than I'm used to. He says, making excuses for the fact that he just fucking crashed. All right. Thanks. <clears throat> Busy gate. I, I like it. It's uh, it's cool. It's very cool. Got a big ass headlight on the front as well. Fuel port. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. I like that. Hope you. Uh, I got extra insurance for that, so that's alright. Let's go put out Corsair so you guys can see what that thing looks like once it's all, um, because you kind of don't really get a... You kind of really don't get a good sense, uh, for it when you're... God, this is a really shitty angle. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go to the other side. I can't see shite there. God, it's the same here. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Alright, store that. Uh and like a though. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Uh, Whether it's the latest in cutting edge technology or the beauty of our award winning garden, uh, the city of tomorrow has a lot going on today. Give me my ship. Alright. Remember, your belongings belong to you. Yeah, I can't do shit you while it's doing this. I wonder if all the uh, launch pads are. Fucking occupied. Well, hi, 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 Smurfy. Thanks for popping in, dude. Uh, welcome to waiting for your vehicle to be retrieved a simulator. Sweet. Hanging out. See, all it takes is patience, guys. It's all you. This is such a good game, and I am having such a great time. Uh, so we just checked out the cutter. Hang on, I, that was the one, right? We just checked out the cutter. Um, first impressions uh, is good. Is very good. Fuck. 
Uh, but now we're going to take out the Corsair. Right, I'm not going to go through the Unus. I'm going to go through the elevators. Oh, so much framiness. It's a pity. But now you guys should be able to, hopefully, I can, yoink. Um, just with all the players on at the moment, man, the servers are, uh, screaming. Let's go. We'll have to try and figure out how to get the loadout on this thing. Hello, ship. So this is my Corsair. It's the same as everybody else's Corsair, but this one is mine. Alright. Alrighty. Power on. There we go. You are clear to launch. Fuck me, I'm clear to launch. Alright, so... M6, M5As, but I think those are gimbaled, so I could probably put them to fixed. Anyway. Alrighty. Let's go. Nice and gently. Nice and gentle, like. And we are up. It's not as pop this guy like this and you can guys can see the magic. The framey, framey magic. Alright, so I'll put in the landing gear. Landing gear up. But then I have to go like so. To deploy the wings. So she's not the most maneuverable beast. She's not the fastest. But ho oh damn. For me, she is just the good. The handling is not actually that bad. I don't know what people are complaining about. My only problem with this, and I think it's just a it's a development issue, is you see how I'm not holding my stick anymore, but she's slowly starting to pitch down. I think that's a bug that they need to fix because I don't want to constantly be like rectifying where I'm going it should just kind of hold this position so I think that's a bit of a bug but she is glorious and uh, honestly this is my favorite ship this is the first ship that I bought that I've been like yeah cool this ship is this is great I don't want to trade this in it's not like I have a bunch of niggly shit that I'm not happy with this is so good. Plus, if I go in here, I won't be able to see shit. Oh, so laggy, dude. There's all these people in the ships and the shit that they're pulling out. There's a whole bunch of guys down here pulling out things, trying to see what they can stick them inside of. Typical dude behavior. You know, this thing has a hole in the back. I need to put something inside of it. That's that's big chat energy right there. <clears throat> How many of these can I stick inside of it? Let's find out. You know, this is not a porno. Let's not be that way. See, look, so I've got it at zero now, but she slowly starts to pitch down, which is a, yeah, I, I think that's a bug. Maybe they're like, well, you know, this ship has to have some problems, so... This guy doesn't know how to put his wings down, I guess. Well, that guy's in trouble. Probably tried to stick his thing where it didn't want, you know, where it wasn't wanted, and now it's, uh, now he's got a crime stat. Shield generator irregularity. I have never seen that w message before.
So good. Just love it. This looks so good. But, you know what guys, I'm going to call it there. I know it's a short one. It's only been an hour and 36 minutes. But I'm going to uh, just call it early. I want to get some lunch. I'm probably going to be playing all day today. I want to uh, see if I can get the loadout fixed on this ship. Um... Just love the texture and this one also has VTOL mode although it's a little bit weird because when you put in VTOL mode it's just the, the two little engines at the bottom they're just like ah, little, 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 little. so it's not it's kind of you know a little bit wanky um but yeah i need to get some food i need to eat i need to take a uh uh need to take some personal time so thank you guys very much i will land my please proceed to assign i did pull the wings up right I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's a... Uh... Oh, that's mine. Brr. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, she is a big girl. So she... She she rolls a little bit. I don't know if there's an indicator to say that you folded your wings up. Maybe I'm missing it, but it would really be good if there was. But very much waiting for 318. Love to do some of the. With the new cargo stuff. With the. Euro collision. Thing I found with the ship is no matter how far you think you are, you can always go a little, a little bit further. And pretty much that's the truth for all ships in this game. Because you're always like, oh god, I'm so close to the, the front. But then you. Well, no, I'm actually, that, that time I actually was. Well, no, 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 I'm very sorry. I'm very gentle, gentle movements, gentle movements. You just tweak the sensitivity of these VKBs, because even when I'm like... Did I come in sideways? I came in sideways, haven't I? No, no, I came in the right way. Nailed it. Nailed it. You guys wish you could land like I did. What's happening? Did I land in somebody else's hangar? Oh, I haven't put my landing gear down like a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, hold on. We can fix this. Just gonna go up a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa! We're gonna go down a bit. What is going on? Oh, then you get down. Sweet. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. None of you guys saw that. Park like an absolute little legend. I swear, I play this game quite a lot. Let's go over here. And that's it. That is it for day one. I might be, I don't know, I might be on later, maybe I won't. I, I might definitely be playing later because I, yeah, like I said, I want to get my loadout sorted out and um, try out some new stuff. Um, and uh, I might play with some other people and uh, give that a go. But thank you guys very much for popping in. It was good to see you all very much, uh, asshole Smurfy. I know, right? That's exactly how, how else should I have parked. Uh, Jamie, uh, Ty, and Raven, who had to leave because he has a, a job. Um, but anyway, 
you guys thank you very much i'll see you all again very soon maybe tomorrow actually um and we'll have some more fun then